Tennessee and Temple, both tournament teams from a year ago. Everybody expecting that again from the Volunteers this year. But for Temple to make it, a win over the Vols on Saturday would go a long way. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on the College Basketball Previews here on CBSSports.com. To help me break down the matchup on Saturday afternoon, we bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis from Springfield. And uh, Steve, let's start with Tennessee here. Uh, Tyler Smith, the last game, first triple-double in Tennessee school history. Is he the key for them this season? Well, you know, the way they play, I don't know if any one guy is the key because they play so many different people, but he is their leader. He's the one guy who is so versatile and does a lot of things. But when you throw J.P. Prince out there, what he's able to do, and how about the play of their backcourt? Bobby Mays and Scotty Thompson have really helped lift this team to much better guard play this year. Bobby Mays, 36 assists as a point guard, 8 turnovers. When you're getting that out of a kid who's playing for the first time, he's a junior college transfer, that really is something special. Steve, has that surprised you? Because that coming into the season was the biggest question. With all they lost from last year, that their guard play could handle that up-tempo up st up style, style, has that surprised you the most? I'm a little surprised because Thompson's a freshman. Mays, as I said, is a, in his first year as a junior college player. And especially in that style where there's a lot of decisions to be made. When you're running up and down and there's a lot of, I mean, they average 87 a game, and there's a lot of decision making going on, usually kids will make a lot of bad decisions where they don't have experience. But these kids are making great decisions, and that's one of the reasons why Tennessee has gotten off to such a fast start. Meanwhile, Steve, for Temple, it's all about Deontay Christmas. There, there's a billboard as you're driving up to Schugel in Philadelphia that says it's Christmas all the time at Temple. Uh, what does he have to do in this game for them to stay with Tennessee? Well, he has to have a big game because one thing about this game, now Temple cannot play this game where it goes into the 80s. So they're going to try and control Temple. And we talk a lot about Temple because really the better team is the team that's able to force you to play the way they want you to play. Tennessee's going to try and make this game up and down, crazy, wild, a lot of possessions. That's not really to Temple's liking. They need Christmas to score 25 in a 70-point game, not any more than that. Well, but who else has to step up? Because it can't just be him with 25. Someone else has to. Well, Lavoy Allen is a very good player who's really starting to come into his own. So they have some other weapons out there in terms of who else is going to step up for them. But the big thing is, as a team, they can't turn the ball over. Because if there's any team that feasts on your turnovers, it's Tennessee. Do you think Fran Dunphy's team can control the tempo enough, uh, the tempo enough, and not turn it over? I think they'll do it for a while, but one of Temple's big problems is they don't have a lot of depth. They basically play six or seven guys, and the one thing against Tennessee, it's hard because they're going to play ten guys, and they're going to run a match you all the time. I think it's going to be difficult for Temple to control the Temple enough to win the game. You know, they're going to need wins like this to make the tournament come March. Uh, do you think they pull it off? I don't think so. I think Tennessee is going to win this game. I think just too strong. And one thing about Tennessee, they've been a pretty good road team over the last couple of years. So I think Tennessee is going to win this. All right, Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. We'll see how it all plays out Saturday afternoon. Thank you. All right, folks, for more on this game or any other here this weekend, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.